We've got an update to a Fox News alert we've been bringing you all morning on the battle between the government and the cattle rancher Cliven Bundy and his family. The feds now backing down and releasing those seized cattle. But the fight isn't over. Where does the Bundy family go from here? Joining us live from the Bundy Ranch radio talk show host Pete Santilli and Operation Mutual Aid Coordinator Ryan Payne. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. How are you? Uh, fantastic. Thanks for asking. Uh, thanks for getting up early with us, too. Uh, Pete, I'll start with you. I mean, the BLM saying they're going to back down uh, as far as taking the agents away and letting the cattle roam free, but the legal battle continues. Is this a big victory or a small victory that we're seeing this morning? You know, we're, we're certainly taking baby steps uh, towards, I guess, uh, giving back um, sovereignty uh, to, um, to the people of the state of Nevada, giving the land back to them and also releasing the cattle. Uh, we're certainly taking baby steps, but you know, I think yesterday they did the absolute right thing uh, by doing what they did. Uh, it was a crowd safety issue. Uh, they stood down because it was the right thing to do constitutionally and on behalf of all the people here in the state of Nevada. Absolutely. Ryan, Ryan what do you want to see happen next? Well, I'd really like to see, uh, you know, right in line with the Bundys, their desires to go back to ranching. Uh, this has affected their ability to earn and support their family. They have a very large family, a very cohesive family, and uh, we just want to see them get back to their life and uh, the rights that they're endowed to. Right. what do you say to those people who are writing in saying, hey, look, you know, back taxes, pay the back taxes, clear it all up, think this whole thing would go away. Hey, you know, I, I've heard that so many times, and I'm sorry, is that for Ryan or me? Uh, either one, take it. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I that, that, that's just something that's been spun by the mainstream media. Uh, Mr. Bundy is, I mean, he's even said he's got copies of checks that he gave to the state. Unfortunately, they didn't have a special code where they could apply the funds. Uh, so nobody was able to take his checks. Here in the state, they didn't have the means to do that. He, he's more than willing to pay the taxes just to the right, uh, right people. The federal government uh, don't, uh, don't have, uh, I guess, rights to those taxes. The people of the state of Nevada certainly do. So no matter and who's attempted to make those payments. Well, here's the question I have. No matter who is right on the tax question, this seems like a pretty huge overreaction on the part of federal authorities. All those guns, the police dogs flying overhead, the whole thing. What, do you have a theory about what this was really about? You know, I, it, I did have a theory, and then we've looked into it a little bit further. Uh, our, uh, our net, my, my network, Guerrilla Media Network, has uh, investigated the matter. Uh, we've determined it's not even about the tortoise either. I understand that there's some corporate interests uh, that are wanting to secure the mineral rights, the water rights, as well as some natural resources out here. They're the ones that are behind this thing. When it's all said and done, if we were to allow them to uh, leave their stakes in, we'd have fracking out here in about five mm -hmm. years after everything was said and done. Ryan, tension's really yeah, coming I, to... Go ahead. Yeah, I, I just want to clarify that that's not necessarily uh, the issue. Uh, of course, many of the individuals that have come to the aid of uh, the Bundys may be concerned about those things. Uh, you know, what the land use issue is not our concern, except for the public land use and making sure that it's available for the public and that anything that goes on that land is in the interest of the public. Our, our main issue is with the the forceful presence that the government has displayed here towards the Bundys and uh, it's not something that the people of Clark County deserve to have in their backyard and it's definitely not something that the uh, the Bundys deserve to have. Yes. Well, it's worth noting we do want a peaceful resolution to this and it appears that we're edging towards that this morning. Pete and Ryan, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Thanks for uh, Thanks, articulating that issue.